In the course of, of my career, I've observed uh, plenty of failures. Of course, we all have failures that they do happen despite the best planning. But one of the common factors that I have observed is majority of failures seem to occur as a result of inadequate treatment planning. There's no substitute for proper treatment planning, including adequate medical histories, models of patients' melts that can be examined when the patient's not here, imaging technologies such as three-dimensional imaging technologies. When possible, we can get 3D printed models of patients' jawbone to help prepare for the cases better. And with all the advances in technology, as well as our knowledge base that we've acquired over the past 20 years, we really should be able to keep most of the disasters to a minimum, if at all. Dental implants were being done successfully 30 years ago with a fraction of the technology that we have at our disposal today. And one of the reasons they were done so successfully 30 years ago is very stringent criteria were used to select patients for dental implant treatment. And only a select number of adequately trained providers were providing the treatment. With all the advances in technology, we should have higher success rates, but that's not necessarily what we see. So again, you know, there's no substitute for adequate treatment planning, case selection, getting to know our patients, and for patients to get to know their doctors. One thing that I've experienced here in our office is that when failures do happen, we do everything we can to take responsibility for that. We pride ourselves on being fee for outcome. We envision getting patients a certain outcome and are committed to that. And we're not always able to do that. But one thing I've observed is, is that there's a difference uh, in treatment philosophy when it's one doctor's individual name on the door versus when there is not an individual doctor's name on the door. I think that the key that I'd be looking for if I were a patient is accountability. Who will be accountable if in the rare case things do not go as planned?